Hi, my name is uh, Robert and I've been making surfboards for about 25 to 30 years. I started in 1992. What got you into surfboard making? I like the sport and I like the lifestyle of surfing. So when I was younger, I used to go to the beach a lot and surf and watch all the people have a good time. So that's what got me into making surfboards. What is your favorite tool to use when making a surfboard? My squeegee and my mixer. Without these two, I won't be able to do anything. Have you noticed any positive or negative changes since you started working in the surfboard industry? Uh, the positive changes I've noticed is that um, uh, boards are built, are being built better. They last longer, they're lighter, they used to be heavier. Uh, materials are getting better and uh, they're working on eco-friendly uh, resins and different cloths to absolutely help the environment. So any negative changes? Uh, no, I mean like, other than too many people surfing, but that's also good for business. <laughs> what would you say is the most challenging part about making a surfboard? Uh, for me, is uh, being able to match the artwork that is required on a specific design when a customer orders a, you know, like a custom specific color or artwork to be done on the board. And with resin, it's like, if you mix, if, if you uh, don't mix it properly or you don't get the right shade, it will show on the board. So I think that's the hardest part, mixing the, the right color and doing the uh, artwork properly. What is your favorite part about making a surfboard? Uh, my favorite part is seeing the customer uh, receiving their boards and the smile, the, the feeling that they get when, uh, when they see a beautiful product on their hands and how much fun they're going to have surfing at the beach. Hi, my name is Luis and I have been making boards for about 25 years. Well, I would say the hardest boards to make are the ones with the channels on the bottom because uh, it's a little bit more work. You gotta be really paying attention, more, uh, more details to where the channels goes, not to leave air and all that kind of stuff. How long does it take to make a surfboard? Uh, from beginning to end, it probably, take, probably takes about an hour, 45 minutes. And how many surfboards do you make a day? Uh, about 10 a day, 50 a week. You know the steps, it's like, uh, well, it'll start with the shaping, and then after the shaping, they send the boards here to the shop. To put the boxes, like the thin boxes.
after the thin boxes it comes the lamination with this what I'm doing right now and after the lamination it goes to the hot room which is uh, uh, the sealing resin uh, the coating of uh, to seal the board and after that it goes to the sanding room so to get sanded and finish and that that's pretty much it Hi, my name is Max Caldwell, and I've been making surfboards for three or four years now. What do you like the most about making surfboards? Uh, my favorite part about making surfboards is getting to ride them afterwards. What is it like surfing on a board that you made? Uh, it's the best. It's a lot better than surfing on a board you bought because feels good, the fact that you made it yourself and you get to ride it, I guess, yeah. What do you see happening in the future for the surfboard industry? I think it's just going to get bigger and bigger and uh, it seems like more and more people are surfing so I think it's just going to get bigger. As we can see, making the perfect surfboard requires a lot of time, passion, and effort. These surfboard makers apply all of that into providing you with the perfect board so that you can go ahead and catch some gnarly waves. Surfboard making is an art, and I hope that you can see that now and appreciate your board that much more.